listen. The king of Calzone has sent out his most dangerous warrior, the three-headed ogre. That's right. Now, new one, it is up to you to choose our path. Will we succeed? Will we fail? Only one way to find out. Are you ready? Here are the dice. Catch. On three. One. So sorry I'm late. I was still picking some berries. Sorry I'm late. I was doing someone. You mean something? <clears throat> so, um, who's this? Oh, this is our new friend. Um, what was your name again? Yeah, right, 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 right. So, um, helping us with the task at hand, you know? Oh, goodness. Are you sure? It's very dangerous and we could get into so much trouble. Just stick a knife in it and call it a day. It's really not that big of a deal. No, 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 no. We should be working with potions. You know, adding a little bit of luck to us and maybe causing the heads to feel really dizzy all of a sudden. Hmm? Why such a drastic approach? I mean, I'm sure it doesn't know it's being a nuisance. We could perhaps ask very kindly and calm it down, maybe? Where? Given that the three heads probably share one brain cell, it's safe to assume that they are stupid, but just to make sure, I think we should choose violence. No, come on, let's not rush our decision. I mean, it's to all of us, although I don't think that potions is the right answer, but, you know, I mean, we, I have them ready, you know, so I feel like it wouldn't be a bad idea. Huh? Decisions, decisions, what will you do? Who will you pick? Only you can choose. I knew I could trust you. Now, come with me. I'll get you ready. Okay, perfect. Just hold still for me. We are going to measure your face because I need to quickly make a mask for you. I have my book here. I'm going to be using to write on the measurements and then we have to get going pretty quickly, but We need to assess what we're going to do. I assume you wear something else than this. It's not very protective. I'll give you something. But for now, I like to wear your face, so hold still for me. Don't move. Do not move under any circumstances. It could be very dangerous if you move. Just kidding. But I want to make sure I get everything right, so I'll just hold still. Perfect. You will make sure that it is comfortable, but also protects you. So, I need to know, do you have allergies to anything? Any material? Okay. I won't be using anything that will harm your skin. Let me look at you. You seem to have a scar on your ear. What is that from? Really interesting. No, it's just a little strange because I don't remember seeing it when we were sitting at the table. Well, I suppose it shall remain a mystery, but... Let me tell you something. If you try to trick me or my friends, it's over for you. 
I've been training all my life to take care of the ones I care about. So, if you happen to be someone who I cannot trust, I will kick you out into a place you do not want to go to. But for the sake of getting along, I assume it was just a trick of the lighting or something. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So, your face is pretty symmetrical. So that makes it a lot easier for me. I will be making the mask out of a certain type of clay. It dries very quickly you see. And strangely enough, keeps the skin moisturized, despite it being very dry. I don't know if that is something that concerns you, but if it does, now you know. So, I think I'm going to go with that design. Yes. Perfect. Right. And you will close it at the back with a little piece of string keep it hidden under your hair good right, put this to the side now, you are not wearing what I would like you to wear so, like you to take this looks very cozy on the outside but actually very difficult to get through this if you like feel it with your hands exactly this has been crafted by a family member of mine who is no longer with us but they made sure to put all their protective powers into this and they have made lots of clothing Usually protective charm, but I feel like you may need a bit more. I'm not saying that you are uh, not in shape to fight, but I do think you need to practice a little bit because your your reflex is not very good. I mean, we can test it right now if you want. Follow this hand, not the other one. Did you stop focusing? Focus. Okay, focus on my finger. Good. Okay, focus on my nose. Don't look at the finger. Don't look at the finger. Look at my nose. Okay. I'm sure it will be fine. I'm sure it will be fine. So, you want to try this over your arms like so. And then there is a buckle at the side that you want to push open. And it will keep you safe. So I will put this right next to you. I'm sure you know what to do. So, final step. I have a very special face cream which also has parts of silver in it which protects you a little bit from possible gases or possible things that you might not feel very comfortable with. Yes, some of the ogres that we have encountered had this really weird way of emitting acid and weird fumes. Very weird. However, I have something to counteract. There's not much left, but I will give to you anyway. Good. So, I want you to keep still. I'm going to be applying on forehead, nose, chin, cheeks, and bit on the neck. You will keep still for me. Good. Look 
cover the entire face starting with forehead it might feel a little bit cold but you will deal with it besides you are a strong character I don't know you well enough yet but for now I'm okay I am very will try to become very see-through, so your opponent won't even see it. So you don't need to worry about that. Good. Along the neck and up the cheeks. Perfect. Good. Okay. How does that feel? Good. I will start to get working on the mask now and no we won't be wearing any because we are very experienced I don't know you well enough to to uh, think that you can do it and I'm not saying this because I am rude I am just a little bit impatient Actually, I will take this design instead. Good. Should be good for mobility as well. Perfect. So, if you do not have any other questions right now, I would say I start to get going. You make sure that the fabric fits. I don't want any mistakes happening here. Good. And regarding your ear, I will keep a very close eye on you because I always do, but just be careful around us and with whatever we're doing. So I'll leave you to it. I will be back soon. You do your thing. You made the right decision. Let's get everything sorted. You come with me. Okay, perfect. I have everything I need. Now, let me ask you a question. What is your favorite color? And uh, you have another one? Okay, one more try. That's okay, right? Good color, perfect, perfect, okay, good, good. So, um, I would need you to take one of these, okay? Good, perfect. And I want you to tell it a lot of nasty things. I mean, I mean, like, bad. Like, tell it, um, it stinks, it's gross, that kind of stuff, okay? I will form it together with this one and we will crumble it up into a little potion. Yeah. It's not really gonna do too much of a mean job, I suppose. After all, I do have to listen to what everybody else in the group says. But it will definitely knock them out. I'm sure of it. I mean, I've tried it before and it was quite intense. Okay. Let me gather some more. Okay. So I have these dried herbs here. And we're gonna crush those up as well. Add them to the mix. Could you blow on these for me? Good. I like to incorporate our new team members as best I can because I want you to feel included and I'm sure with your help you can get it done very quickly right so let's see 
Um, what are your, like, specialties again? I know that you sent a letter, but it was a little bit difficult to decipher. Right. Okay. So a bit of a I do everything kind of thing? Sure. Okay. But you're not a changeling, right? I mean, no, I don't judge. It's just we've had some experiences with, you know, being lied to and that kind of thing. So we tend to be very, very careful when it comes to that stuff. Besides, we all want to get paid, right? Exactly. So, I think this is enough. I don't think we need any more than this. So we're just going to take this vessel here. Crush them up. Perfect. Okay. And then... Add this liquid. Okay. Perfect. We need about four drops. So we're going to go one, two, Four and five. Okay, perfect. So, what we're gonna do next is we're going to crumble some of this incense stick into the potion. Very important, we do not burn this. That would be a little too powerful. You want to pick one? There are about ten in there. Okay. Now remember, Aura trying to manifest. Add. This one? Okay, perfect. Add. So, this is the one, okay? In here, we have black pepper patchouli vanilla, orange blossom, and a tiny bit of sage. Now, you may be thinking, wait a moment, those are all very uh, protective elements. And the thing is, we do need protection for ourselves while we do this. Very important. Because we never know what type of ogre we're dealing with. Especially because person who gave us this task is not very good at describing things. So, we're gonna open this up right here. Perfect. Fill in our liquids and the crushed up pieces here. Going to close it back up. Good. And then, what we're gonna do on top is write an X. So, use the front piece here. So it has been marked by us. Good. This will both enhance the power of this as well as keep it safe. Okay. Now, remember this piece? Keep it in your pocket. Keep it in there. Okay, good. I'm gonna add this on top. Okay. And then we're just gonna jam it in on this side here. And it should dissolve immediately. Then. Perfect. And there we have it. Nightmare Reel. I think this should work wonders. I do have another one I prepared earlier, actually, which I can show you here. This is the Titan's Brew. Mm-hmm. Shake it up a bit. 
bit more. I feel like the leaves have gotten stuck. We wouldn't want only half of the effects to set in. Here we go. There it is. Now, um, how do you feel about taking a potion yourself? Are you open to the idea or not so much? Hmm. Is there a reason you don't want to take any potions? No, 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 they're completely safe. We'd all be taking them. It's just, I figured maybe we could do a little bit of a something something with invisibility. Yeah, I mean, my potions are kind of still in the works to get them to work for longer, but I think an hour's time is definitely going to be in there. We just need a few petals of these and mix them with moon water. That's it. It doesn't even taste weird or funky or anything. Perfect. That was a very fast way of persuading you. That's perfect. Okay. So, can you pass me that bottle over there with the moon water? Good. Thank you so much. So, you pick out the petals that we can use for that, okay? So let's see, I'm sure I have had something written down in my book here. We can do. So I think we should be set. Sure. Okay. I mean, I haven't really thought about how we're going to talk to the ogre when we. Well, if we. Sh I mean, we won't fail. But if we should, how are we going to talk to it? I don't know. I mean, maybe we could discuss that with the others before we set off. We have a few more hours, so... Yeah. I think that sounds good, right? Okay. So, I'm gonna go and make myself another potion, and you can relax. Perfect. I'll see you in a moment. choice, my friend. I'm so happy. Do come with me. I'm so glad that you chose this path. I'm going to teach you all the ways to calm everyone down. Okay? Perfect. Right. So, just pretend I'm not here. Pretend that you're completely busy with something else. For instance, you are currently daydreaming about what food you want to eat today, or the birds that you saw earlier today, something like that. I will swiftly come to you and just offer my help. If that doesn't work, of course, I will gently begin to explain what I would desperately need from you, while applying some gentle hand movements. You know, hand movements can sometimes trigger a certain relaxation because it feels like a form of hypnosis. We wouldn't be doing anything dangerous, of course. We just want to guide our opponent in the right direction, so that we don't have to choose such a mean approach, right? Yes. So, I take my hand on the side and mirror the movement on your face, like so. Very good. And then we do it the other side. Sometimes you can move the hand a little bit closer towards the face. Just 
speak to whoever you are going to approach in a calm and relaxing manner. Mm -hmm. Just like so. Perfect. So, I'm just going to work my magic on you. Of course, everything is set in good intention, as you should know. I don't want you to think that I am doing anything at all that could harm you. Alright? Very good. So, we want to collect all the positive thoughts that you have in your mind. Collect them. Imagine that there is a cloud surrounding you and you want to take, 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 take all these pieces that are positive and good. Put them into the cloud and then have it surround you. Gently cover you. Very good. So, although it is a mean thing to say, the three-headed ogre may be a little bit on the more stupid side of things. I don't like using that word, but wow. Well, I think we should have a very easy task at hand. Mm -hmm. Now, the important thing is, however, you should not underestimate your opponent, ever. Even if you think they are a little bit stupid, you should always treat them with respect and... Well, treat them how you would want to be treated, okay? Good. More mirrored hand movements. Try to keep your opponent busy with their eyes. Occasionally snip. Very good. Mm -hmm. Can you snip with your fingers? Good. Mm -hmm. Try to keep them focused and busy. If we do not manage to get the ogre or the multiple heads to fall asleep, we could always engage in a little maneuver that would distract it. Mm hmm. We are a group, of course, so group action is going to be what we are planning. Good. Okay then. Now, let me have a look at you. Mm -hmm. You're very brave, I can tell. I do believe you have some sort of energy flow within you, I can tell. Have you dabbled in using those energies for good? You wouldn't know how. Well, I suppose I could awaken them in you, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, it's nothing dangerous, like I said before. I would need your full consent, however. Mm-hmm, exactly. So, I would perform some hand movement in front of your face, okay? And you will hear some layered whispers, some layered sounds, which is only to promote the growth of that positive energy flowing through you. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's something that has been taught to me, well, I can't even remember when it was the first time, but it was quite the magical experience, I must say. And I believe you are ready. Yes. <laughs> Alright then. So, you just sit back, okay? I will perform this little ritual on you. You may fall asleep. That's completely fine. We do have a few hours before we set off. So, I will, if you shall fall asleep, wake you up so that we are completely ready. Mm -hmm. And then we can put together the final plan of which words we will use. Good. Perfect. Now, you just sit back and relax for me, alright?